Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my March wrap up. I'm a little salty because I just, well, I thought I filmed this video and then my phone ran out of storage, which is very upsetting. Here we are doing it again. It's fine. So far, I have read 14 books in March, which I'm very impressed with myself. I think one of the reasons I have read so much is because I read like a couple contemporaries and those just go by like in a flash. But I've also read a decent amount of my normal fantasies back on my bullshit. You know how it is. I'm just gonna get into it. I'm not gonna go into like synopses of these books. I don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long because there's quite a few books to get through. So yes, we're just gonna get into it. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first book that I read was The Left-Handed Booksellers of London by Garth Nix. I gave this one a three out of five stars. To be completely honest, I don't remember anything about the plot of this book. I remember feeling like pretty neutral about it. It wasn't bad. It was pretty entertaining, but it wasn't like blowing my mind or anything. Honestly, that's kind of all I remember about it. I know I really like the main guy in the story. I don't remember what his name was though. Wait, it was like wizardy. Oh, his name was Merlin. I really liked Merlin. Next up, we have a book that I read from my Greek lit class which is Greek lyric poetry. This book really was not it for me. I'm just like not a fan of poetry like nowadays. So reading it with like all the complexities that come along with like translated ancient Greek, oh jeez. If you like poetry and you like searching for like themes in old literature, I'm sure this would be for you, but I'm more of a um, not doing that kind of person. And I didn't get this book a rating because I don't write the reading that I do for my class. Next up, I read Ray Bearer by Jordan Fueco. I really like this book. I gave it a three out of five stars, but it was like a high three. Like it wasn't quite a four, but it's not quite like a middle three. I loved all the relationship dynamics and reading about them. Oh God, what's the main character's name? I'm so bad at this. I just, I've never read any book that is quite like this. It's like kind of middle grade kind of YA and I really liked the level that it was at and everything was just so intriguing. Every couple chapters would be like, what? Who? What's going on? But I just loved all the main characters and the side characters were super fun too. I feel like a lot of the time side characters like kind of bland, but these side characters, I felt like they had a lot of dimension to them. Then I read to All the Boys I Loved Before. All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I binge watched all three of the Netflix movies in one day and then I was like maybe I should read the book and I did and I gave it a three out of five stars. I feel like I call everything fun but it just was really fun. I was in high school not too long ago so it was like decently relatable but there is one thing that happens in the book that doesn't happen in the movie and at that point I'm like Lara Jean you're kind of dirty for that but also it might have been his fault. I don't know. Next up I read Red, White, and Royal Blue. That is so hard to say by Casey McQuiston. The concept of this book is just so good. Like the first time in the U.S and a prince of England is such a fun concept. Read this book in like a day. I love like the, they're like email logs and text messages. And I just, they were so cute together. Just watching their relationship grow and develop was so good. Next up, I read This Covenant Will Break by Isabel Sterling. I read These Witches Don't Burn last September and I really enjoyed it. So I decided to pick up the second one. And I also really enjoyed this one. I feel like this whole thing is me just saying, I loved the characters, but I do really like the main character. Her and her girlfriend are super cute together. So they're fun to read about. I just really love this little duology kind of thing. I think there's like a short prequel to it, which I don't remember what it's called, but I kind of want to read that soon. Next up, I read Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. This one was an easy five out of five stars. The story was fun. I loved Nick and Charlie. The art style was cool. I love the monochromatic blue thing that was like going on through the entire book. Uh, I just cannot wait to read the next couple books in this series. I know the fourth one comes out in May, so I'm really hoping to read volume two and three in April, which I think is very doable. So then I can buy it when it first comes out in May. Then I listened to Get a Life Chloe Brown, which I also gave a three out of five stars. The book was cute and I really liked Chloe and I thought her like chronic pain was like a good thing be represented throughout the book. There's just something about Red that like kind of rubbed me the wrong way and I don't know what it is and I don't know how to explain it, but I just don't really like him that much. Maybe I'm the only one, maybe I'm not. Let me know if I'm not the only one. I wanna know like, what were your thoughts? If you read Get a Life Chloe Brown, what did you think? Oh, I actually have this one on me. Next up, I read The Oristia by Aeschylus, which is just three like Greek tragedies for my Greek lit class. I did not rate this because 
that's not fair. <laughs> now, if I had rated this, I would probably give it like a three or four stars. These were decently interesting and the conversations that went along with it were also very interesting. So there's three different tragedies in here. There's Agamemnon, the libation bears, and the furies. And I think Agamemnon is my favorite just because I kind of really like Clytemnestra. I know she like kills her husband, but low key, she kind of deserved it. Are you back? Oh, be quiet. So yeah, that's kind of that. Next up, I read what might be my favorite book this month, I think. I read Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This book got a five out of five stars from me. I don't know what it is about this book, but I just really loved it. Like, the main character is super cool. And I also really liked her French throughout it. Like, I really related to Janelle. Her special talent is engineering. And I'm an engineering major. I was like, hey, girly. Oh, we really had something there. The murder mystery aspect was fun. It's not completely solved in this one, obviously, because there's like three other books in the series. So I'm very excited to read The Vanishing Stare. Then I read Giant Days of Volume 1, which is a graphic novel that follows three girls who are in college, just like whatever they happen to be doing. I'm a girl in college. So I was like, um... I can, you know, relate to this. I don't have much to say about the story, but I did love the three main characters. I think Esther's my favorite. She's like the goth one, right? She's so soft and sweet though. I loved her. Next up was a reread for me. Oh, we have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I was feeling real sad last week and I had just finished a book. So I was like, I don't really want to read anything else, but I do want to read something that I know will make me happy. And I just love this story so much. All of the characters, it's a very like character driven story like say what you want about the plot it's like all right but the characters are so good i love simon and baz together and penelope's oh i love her too i'm not a really big fan of agatha though she could like go somewhere but other than that it was great and i'm so happy that i reread this also this one got a five out of five stars on the reread obviously then I read The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan, which also got a five out of five stars for me. And this is like kind of a reread, like it's technically a reread, but I read it in like 2011. So it's been like nine years. I can appreciate these books so much more now because I actually know like something about Greek mythology. And every time there's a new chapter, I'm like, ooh, what myth are they going to be like heavily referencing throughout this chapter? And it's just so fun. I'm reading the second one now. And I have the last three up there. So I'm very excited to reread the entire series. Okay, so then the last book that I read is also a graphic novel. I read Nimona by Steven Noelle Stevenson. Yes. Yes, there we go. I gave this one a four out of five stars. I really love the story. This knight turned villain, but he's not a good villain. The protagonist, they used to be knights together. And they have some history and then he has like this sidekick who's a shapeshifter i just really enjoyed the art style of this and i loved the story it was really fun okay so that is the video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know down below what's your favorite book that you read in march i'm curious let's talk about it be sure to subscribe and i will see you in my next video Bye.